Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, I want to share with you this uh, node tree setup that I made using Geometry Nodes. Uh, it's pretty simple, actually. Uh, this one, as you can see, we have clump of balls that's kind of disturbing bunch of points in the grid. And after it passed by the points, the points comes back to its original position. So this clump of ball is basically uh, just a bunch of instance of icosphere that's been distributed in the volume of another bigger icosphere. So I could change the size and yeah, the simulation is just running. But this is just the, the objects that's disturbing the points. But what's happening to the points exactly? Uh, this, this geometry that's disturbing the points can can be just any objects. In this case, it's actually the Susan head. Okay, so it's almost like a particle simulations, but just much simpler. So originally, the points. Uh, okay, the, the whole setup looks like this. Slightly looks complicated, but not really. Originally, it was like like this, and I was following. An example from from Twitter, Twitter X. Um, someone posted it, posted this. Um, I forgot the person who posted it, <clears throat> but thanks for, uh, to this, uh, we can see we can start with a, a grid surface, and then we are using simulations zone. Uh, we basically can have an animation. We can have an object outside like this bear or kuma walking on top of the surface and then using this ray cast. Basically, whatever this bear is hitting, the hit, if it's, if the position uh, of the points is hit, get the hit position and then just, just use that as the new position for the grid. So it's really that simple. So I have created the same exactly the same exact uh, node setup and I did use this blur and hit normal in this case if I get rid of this because I'm using the normal so it's a little the result is a little bit crazier there but if I use the blur and the normal I think the result it's a little bit more manageable. I don't know if we did it, we need to do uh, we need to use this offset. You might just use the position, and the result is much cleaner. Okay, so this is basically the setup. But I made few changes, so as you can see in this final result. Okay, let's simplify the whole thing. So, with the objects that's kind of with the objects that's animating, we can just replace it with a, a basic icosphere, for example. Simple balls moving through the points. The points come back to its original position. If we look at the grid, the geometry nodes for the grid. Okay, so we did use the raycast and we have the Susan icosphere that's coming in. This is the target geometry, and then we we interpolate the geometry. I think this might be better as a vector. I don't know. It might still work. Okay, maybe float. Oh, in that case, it doesn't really matter. Anyhow, the surface of this icosphere comes in, and then I, I I also use the blur attribute and the noise in this case goes into the offset. It will disturb the position of the grid, as we can already see. But the grid itself, instead of, instead of just using the grid, I turn it into a points vertices. If I just pass it as a geometry. As you can see, okay, it's doing it's doing something else if it's like a geometry, but maybe 
maybe should be like that. Yeah. Similar simulations. But in my case, I just replace it uh, as a vertices. So it's a uh, simpler or more interesting as a point. Anyhow, the next thing I did was save the attribute as blah. What's, what's the attribute I'm saving? The original position of the points, which is the original position of the grid. I save it as blah and then just put it into simulations. And inside the simulations, of course, it will try to reposition the points when it's got disturbed by the icosphere. And the next thing I did was to use this little bit of math. So I get the value of the original position of the points, the vector position of the points, and then subtract it with the, the current position of the points in simulations. And then I just simply multiply it with the scene time. I don't know if it's 100% correct way to do it, but I think I did. I asked AI if I have two vector positions of points and I want to kind of make the position kind of uh, interpolating between two positions and I want to, you know, make it comes back to original positions. How do I do that? So it gives some kind of formula. So and, and I'm use I'm using it over here. And then I use set position, and then as you can see, it's actually working. So only the surface will actually push the points. It's actually really similar to you know, like particle simulation or or dynamic paints. If you like dynamic paints. And yeah, the balls will do the job. If we actually use the icosphere setup, see a bunch of icosphere being instanced inside the volume. If I do it like that, I get I get the points actually working not just on the surface but also on the inside. It's, it looks like that. So I thought that's a little bit more interesting. Uh, there's a lot of things we can do here. Uh, distribute points and volume. We can always offset it with noise. This goes in there. And scene time. Can be vector math. Five. So it's doing that now. Okay, we don't need to do this. This is just extra additional decorations. Okay, so that's uh, something you can try yourself. You might want to work with a clump of points. So this is like a like a stars in the galaxy, and then this this object right here, kind of moving around and pushing the stars. It's a classic simulations when you are starting to work with particles. So I thought that's kind of interesting. So these points, of course, is a grid. Instead of a grid, we use a felt <coughs> volume cube and distribute points in volume and then convert the points into vertices and and so on and so on it's the same simulations so i don't know if it's the 100 percent the right way to do it maybe there's a similar video if you watch this video you might get similar video talking about the same topics um, so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye